what I thought men were, I needed to become. Mine was based on an abusive stepfather who was very domineering. I believe that I had a choice to take on either my mother's role or the man I grew up with role. Well, my mother's role was sweet and I did not want to be weak. I identified more with the need to be strong, to protect myself. I didn't know that at the time. I just wanted to be strong. So I took on the dark persona and I borrowed from my animus and I borrowed from my childhood and I became domineering. And that led to a few short relationships where domineering worked. Yet the relationship I had with an alcoholic, the one and only relationship I had with an alcoholic, I was so ignorant and young. I didn't know he was an alcoholic. I thought, oh, he drinks a lot. I didn't connect the, whoa, he's an alcoholic like my dad. What am I doing here? Um, but I found out one day exactly what I was doing there. We started talking about his childhood and he really opened up and was very honest. And I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds so much like my childhood. And then you could have heard the record skip. You could have heard it. It was palpable. I said, oh my God. We are just reliving our childhood crap and playing it out in a drama. Now he did not have that epiphany with me, unfortunately. Boy did I. And I broke up with him and I quit. No more dominatrix, no more domineering, no more trying to be the abuser. Because I understood it. I got it. I got it. Lock, stock, and barrel. Understood. End of show. Close curtain.